Yes, you can promote personal posts on LinkedIn. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to do that. My name is Mitchell Gould. I run LinkedIn ads and Google ads for B2B tech and SaaS companies. And in this video, I'm gonna go over an overview of the ad format. So technically, LinkedIn calls this a thought leader ad, but all it is is boosting or promoting your personal post. But if you're looking at the LinkedIn documentation, they call this a thought leader ad. So I'm gonna go over an example of that and then uh, an example of a strategy of how you can approach this. And then through the actual technical step-by-step -step setup in campaign manager so that you can boost your personal post. So just a quick overview of what the the ad looks like and essentially it looks just like your organic posts the only difference is is there's a little tagline that says promoted by and it'll have the company name of the ad account there so most people don't even see this and this is a great way to guarantee distribution of your post to a, a target audience so just to go over some of the benefits of this ad format here is that it doesn't look like an ad. So people are more likely to engage with a personal profile, a personal post versus a post coming from a company page in the LinkedIn feed. And it has built-in social proof. So if your post already has likes and comments, that helps with getting people to stop scrolling in their feed and check something out and gives it a little more third-party validation of the post. They tend to have higher engagement rates than other ad formats, so like a single image or a video ad, and you can build a retargeting faster. So in LinkedIn, you can retarget people based off of if they've interacted with your ad, if you're promoting a video, if they watch a certain percentage of a video. And since this ad type gets a lot of engagement, you can build up that retargeting bucket quicker. Another cool thing is that you can promote posts from employees or first or second degree connections. So this is really helpful if you have someone talking about your brand or your service in a good light and they post something organically about you or your company, you can then boost that from your ad account and promote that post in front of your target audience. You do need to request approval from the person that you're gonna promote the post from, but that's really great for that third-party validation. And then, since it looks just like an organic post, there's no call to actions, there's no links. If you do want to drive people to a specific page, you can edit your posts. So you can go into one that you've already created, you can edit it, and you can add a call to action and include a URL. So you can also drive people to a specific landing page by adding content within the post itself. So those are a few benefits. Now to just go over some technical things, these are the only formats that are available for posts. So if you post an image, a video, if you just posted a text post or an article and newsletter, you can promote this through this ad format, the Thought Leader ad. So those are the available post types. Right now you can't promote document. So if you uploaded like a PDF, um, some kind of swipe file post, or if you reshared a post or any of the other uh, post formats on LinkedIn Organic, you can't promote those ones. These are the only ones available. And then within the campaign manager, there are two campaign objectives. If you want to select this ad format type, you have to choose between engagement or brand awareness. I typically start with engagement. Um, engagement charges you per engagement. So any type of like click or interaction on the ad, uh, you'll be charged. Brand awareness charges for reach and impressions. But typically I start out with the engagement one. Now I'm gonna walk through a quick strategy of how you can think about this and utilize your own post to drive some results for your business. So three steps here, the initial touch point, generally people are targeting a cold audience so they don't know your brand, they might not be familiar with you. If you are doing that, it's great to start with a middle of funnel type of post. So talking about the pain points of your, of your prospects uh, including a case study of how you've helped similar clients, any type of result 
oriented post showing results that you got for a client or that your product got for the clients, any type of framework. So in my example, if I, I can you know, promote a post that's just like this, going through a framework of how you can think about thought leader ads and put that in front of my prospects. It's good to start with a middle of funnel post because you want to try to get some uh, intent signal. So if they're engaging with a case study, maybe they're thinking about your service or your product. Um, and that can be just helpful to get uh, the people most likely to maybe be interested in your product or service uh, engaging with the ad. You can also start with a warmer audience. So if you have a lot of website traffic, you can retarget those people with these posts. Or if you have a lot of open opportunities, you can promote these posts in front of them too. So first we're trying to get some initial touch points using this type of content. And then we're building a retargeting audience. So when people are interacting with those, we're putting them into a bucket. So we know out of this large group, we have um, a certain amount of people engaging with our promoted post. And then we're gonna retarget those people with valuable touch points to continue to build trust and credibility. So again, you can promote in front of that audience, more case studies, more result style posts uh, to that audience to continue to build that trust and credibility. You can also start introducing some other ad formats. So there's some cheap ad formats like text ads and spotlight ads that run on LinkedIn desktop devices. And you can also promote some other types of ad formats as well. And then once people have engaged a, a little bit there in your retargeting audience, you can start testing direct call to actions to these retargeting audiences. So some ad formats I'm seeing work well are conversation ads with a lead gen form, image ads or video ads with a lead gen form, and you can try to convert that audience um, as well as continue to nurture them over time. You can also test like a direct call to action higher up in the funnel, uh, but that's a, a, a simple kind of overview of a strategy on how you can approach this. I would say the biggest thing here is when you're promoting posts, make sure it's very relevant to your persona, to your ICP. It's addressing their pain points. That way you have a higher chance of getting in front of people that may have some intent for your product or service. And then just a quick note, I am offering a new service for founder-led content. Um, so if you're a founder or a C-level subject matter expert and you're interested in starting to post on LinkedIn and using a similar framework to this, I help you do ICP research. We then set up interviews and we do a recording session on a regular cadence. We extract uh, video clips from those recordings and help you with the copy. And then we publish that on your LinkedIn profile. Then we start promoting those posts to uh, your ICP to guarantee that distribution. And then we use a similar ref uh, framework where we start re targeting post engagers and we push other ad formats and then we push for some direct call to action. So if you're interested in any of this style of content, I'll have a link below that will uh, d show you a little more about this process and have the price in there. So before we go into the campaign setup, I also wanted to mention there is the LinkedIn ads library. So linkedin.com slash ad dash library, and you can search for different companies. And in this example, I'm searching for our B2B and you can see the posts that are coming from a personal profile here. So you can click on them and see the different types of content they're running to get an idea. So in this post here, you can see they're talking about their product and how they help use that product to convert uh, users in cold email. So again, uh, kind of a use case there and a really good style of post to put in front of your target audience. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the campaign manager account and I'm gonna show you how to set this up step-by-step. Step. So if you haven't created a campaign manager account, log into your LinkedIn profile. And at the top, there's this for business uh, button here. Click that and then click advertise on LinkedIn. That's gonna allow you to create a campaign manager account. After you create the account, you will land on a page that looks just like this. 
Uh, there's this default campaign group. There's nothing in there. It shows that it's enabled. You can just uh, turn that off. And then on the left-hand side of Campaign Manager, you have a few different sections. You have the measure measurement section. This is where you can install the insight tag and conversion tracking. I have other videos that I'll link in the description that go over that process. And then in the account setting section, this is where you can add users to manage the account. Uh, you can add your billing and then you can edit your account here and you can add associate a LinkedIn page. You will need that. So I'll associate my LinkedIn page there. I'll update the account. And then if you go into the billing section, you'll need to add a credit card, your billing information as well as your address. So that's the basic setup. And then after you've done that, you can go into the advertise section. So within the advertise section, we're gonna create a new campaign group. And this is just a bucket where our campaigns will live. I'm gonna say no thanks to the accelerate here. And you can give your campaign group a name. I'm gonna call this cold prospecting. And then I'm gonna turn off the campaign group objective. I like to set this up at the campaign level. So I'll just turn that off. And then everything else is, is set. You shouldn't have to change anything. Click create. And then you can see your new campaign group. So I'm gonna click into that. And then I'm gonna go, so I'm in my campaign group. Now I'm in the campaign section and I'm gonna click create campaign. So now within the campaign, I'm gonna select the objective. So uh, again, brand awareness or engagement, you can choose between those two. I'm gonna click engagement here and we're gonna scroll down. So this is where you set up your audience, so the people who are gonna be eligible to see your promoted post. So a few things to always change here. For your location targeting, switch it from recent or permanent location and set it to permanent location because we only wanna target people within the location that we select. And then here, also turn off enable audience expansion. This allows LinkedIn to expand the audience beyond the attributes that you select, and we don't want that, so we're gonna turn that off. And then you can click narrow your audience. So right now we're just targeting the United States. You can see the target audience size is very large. So we'll click narrow. And here is where you can select different attributes. So if you already have some retargeting audiences, um, some list uploads like company list or contact list, you can uh, select those. And then you can also go into the audience attribute section and select different company attributes job experience attributes, so different job titles. Just as an example, say HR manager here, and I'll target human resource managers, just as an example, and then a click close. So that's where you'll set up your target audience. This is where you select the type of posts you wanna promote. So if you're promoting a text post or an image post, you'll select single image. If you're gonna promote a video post, you'll select the video format. Or if you're gonna promote an article or newsletter, you'll select that. In this example, I'll select single image because I'm gonna promote a post that has an image. Then as we scroll down, we'll land on the URL tracking parameter section. This is optional. I have a full video I'll put in the description. Um, if you're interested in this, you can add UTM parameters and pass those into your CRM. You can also use this to see additional data in GA4 Google Analytics. Uh, we'll scroll down to the placement section. So we're gonna turn off the LinkedIn audience network. I always recommend turning that off. That will allow LinkedIn to show your posts on third-party publisher websites and mobile apps that tend to be low quality. And we want these posts to show in the LinkedIn feed. So always make sure to turn that off. Then in the budget and schedule section, we'll put the budget to $10, which is the minimum budget available um, allowed on LinkedIn. And then in the bidding section, we'll set this to, uh, we'll click show additional options and we'll set it to manual bidding. You can get cheaper costs using manual bidding, cheaper cost per engagement. And we're also gonna turn off enable bid adjustments for high value clicks. And you can look at the range of the suggested bids here. The low range is $2.32. I'm gonna set that a bit lower and I'm gonna watch my spend each day. So if I'm underspending my daily budget, whatever you have set, I have $10. 
then I'll incrementally increase this bid. If I'm slightly spending over the daily budget, I'll, I'll bring that down. This just helps you get the cheapest cost per result. And if you've already set up conversion tracking, I have videos that I'll put on the description for this. You can select those conversion actions here. Then I'll click next and save our campaign details. And this is where we're gonna add our post. So instead of clicking create new ad, I'm gonna click browse existing content. And then I'm gonna click LinkedIn members. So I'll click that. And this is where you can find the member that you're gonna promote the post. So if it's yourself, you'll, you can search your name, you can search other first or second party connections. So I'll type in my name here and it will show my profile. So if I click that, I'll see all the available text and image posts that I can promote. And you can go through here. And I'm already auto approved to promote my own post. If you're promoting on the behalf of someone else or a first or second party connection, you will have to request approval and you can click a button here. You can also go into the request section and you can copy the link and send that to the person via email or in Slack and have them approve it. And they can also turn on auto approval so you don't have to ask them each time you want to promote a post. Uh, you can also go to your post. So say I want to promote this. I'll click the three dot icons here and I'll click uh, copy link to post and I'll go here and instead of searching for my name, I'll paste in this post here and that will load that post. So I'm going to select this one and then I'm going to click add to campaign. So then you can add in a few additional posts. You can also click this gear icon. If you have a, a, a smaller audience, you can set it to rotate ads evenly. So your audience is seeing the different posts and not seeing the same one. If you have a larger audience, um, you can select optimize for performance and it will try to serve the best performing post there. So that's an option there. I'll just keep it uh, to the default for right now. Then I'll click next. And this is where you'll review and launch your campaign. So again, you just wanna double check your settings, who you're targeting, make sure the audience expansion is disabled, make sure the LinkedIn audience network is disabled, so we're only showing on LinkedIn. Check your daily budget, your bids, um, and everything else. And then we'll go ahead and click launch campaign. So now our campaign is launched and you can click view campaigns and then uh, you can monitor the performance. So you can select uh, different metrics to take a look at. So if you're running videos, you can select the video metrics. Uh, performance gives you the default view. You can take a look at engagement uh, and see engagement rates. You can look at the average dwell time. So how long are people on average looking at your your ad, see reactions if people start to follow you. So that's how you review performance and set up promoting your own post. If you're interested in all the targeting options that LinkedIn has to offer and wanna learn how to create retargeting audiences, you can check out this video.